There we go. Just make a very quick video. All right. So, all right. So, a few of you have watched my video about, you know, you know, I don't know, and how can I help? And in that video, I know I sort of went on a little bit about, you know, other things. I guess what I, what I was trying to get across is this, right? Because I, I've got one person who's responded to the video out of everybody and it's concerning and I think there's a lot of people out there that feel like this person and just to put things into perspective well not perspective but so you all know exactly where I am because I know w w look I know this channel has really brought a lot of people together um, a lot of my, uh, a, a lot of people who may leave the comments are now understanding that they can talk amongst each other within the comments. And that's pretty, I'll have to say that's pretty much thanks to Paul. Um, Paul's a funny character. I've never met Paul and that. I worry about Paul. I worry about uh, a, a lot of people and that on this channel. And it's, it's a, it's a, it's a, I won't say it's a good worry, but it's a worry, and it's good to worry because it keeps my mind occupied, it keeps your mind occupied of what other people are doing and how they're feeling. No matter how low you are or <clears throat> upset you are or lost, um, if you've got something or someone to worry about, it, it it takes your mind off your worry a little bit and it puts perspective back in yourself and about someone else. Not to say that you need people around you to have to worry about because that's not good. We shouldn't rely on people's misfortune to worry about to save ourselves. But if we all can get together and just have an understanding that we're all we're all bad, we're all a bit the down and it's and if we can talk on this channel which is happening you know people are you know leaving comments for each other or answering each other like paul he spoke to jilly you know and and stuff it it, it, it i see this on my channel and, and it's fantastic but how i am how i am I'm not, I'm not doing too good, all right? As simple as that, I'm just not doing too good. Um, I'm really of... Yeah, I just, you know, I'm, I'm... I guess a lot of people, a lot of men, even women, you know, you get to an age, and age, age is a very important thing to under to understand you've reached it's like a, 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 there's 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 sections in your life where you get when you can do things and then there's sections in your life as you move along that you just can't achieve anymore you can't you can't do anymore and stuff or it, it's not you can't but it's a bit late you know it's a bit late to do and some things you just don't want to restart again because it, or you've missed the mark you know and you know, Mary, Mary and I, we've been, you know, she's, she's not understanding and I'm not probably articulating it correctly and stuff across, I'm trying, you know, so we hit our little speed bumps, you know, that's going to happen in life, you know, but I think that the main thing is, is, You've just got to keep trying to 
make yourself heard or understood, which helps too because it distracts you from what you what you're worrying about because now you you're thinking about how how you can get at put into words what you're feeling. You know, and and it might become repetitive. You put it out one way, people don't understand it. You put it in, you think about it, and and you put it out another way, and and then they start to get a, a bit of an idea. Because the first time you're going to do it, let, let's all be honest, you're going to be angry. You're going to be very, very inflated. You know, you're going to be very aerated. And um, whoever you're trying to discuss that with, they're going to partially shut down because you, you, you're you coming across like you're attacking them. You're loud. You're very, you know, animated and things like that. So you'll see that and you have to look at your actions, how to be understood until you learn to calm down with your tone, certain words you're using. We all swear. We all use bad words in time of, uh, I don't know, desperation or uh, in a way to get out, uh, be heard and stuff as much as it's wrong. You know, we all do it. It's a fact, right? And as I say again, you know, a lot of people do say, you know, that I help people by the way I talk with my channel and stuff. I meet up with people and stuff like this. And I do. You know, the side of me that people see, you know, as I was saying, like I'm an inappropriate but appropriate erection. It's, it's, it's a term, you know. So long as it's uh, it's viewed in an appropriate way, type thing. Not you know, you, you've got to you know. This you walk around with a bulge in your pants. So long as it's not out to see, but you can see a bump, that's appropriate. It's inappropriate, but it's appropriate. It's a bit like what you're going through. It's it's appropriate because you're suffering, but it's inappropriate on the way that you might deliver what's going on. You might the first time you're going to go off, you're going to it's. You, you, you're not gonna you're not gonna say it right you know and, and and that's fine because you're suffering you don't know what you're going through you don't know how to say it right but when you put it out there and you've seen the reaction to how you've said it to somebody or people and how they've taken it you you'll be watching that you've got to take responsibility to how you've got to remember what you've said how you've said it the setting that you set it in, where you set it, you know, where you're drinking, where you wonder with the influence of the substance. And so you've got to put all those things in there to to know how it's come across the first time. And then, you know, it's like it's like a person writing music or writing a song. You know, they they, they it, it's always rough format. You know, they'll be in a cafe or something, you know, and they'll write it on the napkin. And stuff and then they'll start to sing it and sing it and it, it takes up it's a bit of effort not, not too many people in the world can very uh, uh, can just write something down and just sing it straight away and, and, and not change it there's been a few but you know my, but even them they have to look at it they have to sing it over again it's repetitive um to get it right especially the good artists you know the songs that we remember that have a lot of meaning in them the ones that we the ones that you and I, we all have our music that we turn to that really hit home with us and calm us down and rev us up and get us excited and stuff like that. So think of think of that. <clears throat> when, when you're about to say something, take that in, on board and think about how, how you'd like this, this song to come out. You know, you obviously you want it remembered, you want it understood. You want feeling in there, you want a bit of passion, you know, you want a bit of sadness, you want a bit of excitement, you, but the, the main thing I think is, is that people are also hanging to also hear that you also are wanting to change or you're wanting to learn how not to change, learn how to handle what's going on inside. And when people see that, that, that you're still hanging on to that 
you're still gripping onto that want, wanting to live or wanting to wanting to survive. That's when, um, and it's sad to say, but you know, that's when people do react. They they step in because now they've seen that you've taken a bit of responsibility for what you what you're going through. And at the end of the day, you know, even if someone has hurt us and we haven't brought this on ourselves, you know, it, it's been totally out, out, out of the blue. It's hit us for no reason and stuff. At the end of the day, it is our, it, it, it is our pain. It is our struggle. And we have to, um, we have to adopt, we have to take it, adopt it, own it. It's ours. It's on us, even though it wasn't put there by us, but it's happening to us. You know, it, it's a bit like a car accident victim or any accident victim. As soon as the ambulance people rock there, they tell you start to breathe, control your breathing. Even though you shouldn't, you're a victim, you know, but you, ha you have to, you have to. You, you, to. To help them to be able to help you, you have to calm down. And that, and it, that's, that right there is at any at any accident or anything like that, the first time it shows its head or anything like that, that is the critical stage for everybody because you need, they're trying to, everyone's just swamping you to calm down, to because you've blown up. That's And let's face it, that's what happens. You'll be cruising along and next minute out of the blue, you'll, this, whatever's wrong, it'll just come out. And it is inappropriate but it's appropriate because then you've let people know you've got a problem. It, it, there's a problem happening. But at the same time, once you've done that, you've got to take responsibility that you put it out there or it's come out and now you have to take, you have to grab it by the reins and you have to some way control it. At least steer it. Maybe not slow it down at first, but at least steer it while you're out of control, if you understand that. There's one person on here that's worrying me and that, and I just want to say, right, I know exactly what you're going through. You know, I fight, I fight wanting to be here or staying here. And this might hurt a few people to hear this. Because they're good people and I value their friendship and I value what they have to say. And even the people I haven't met on here just talking to you in the comments. I don't mean to hurt you, but it's a, it's just sometimes how it is. And that and it's a it's a big struggle. It's a big it's a big struggle. Um, that's why I have this channel because I can share with you and it's a brave thing it is, it, it, I've recognised this is a very brave thing that I'm doing and I pat myself on the back and it helps me doing this to show you what what maybe you're not showing others or you want to show others how to get it across there is no correct way but at least in a, in a way that's palatable for people to not go into shock when you show it you know so that oh and they listen you know instead of running because the first time you do a lot of people run you know believe me they'll run and that's another thing I want to point out. You know, when when, when you do show this, that you, you're suffering of some, you, you are. It's sad to say, but a lot of family and a lot of friends and, and acquaintances are, are going to shit themselves and they're going to take off. They're going to take off. You're going to lose a lot of friends as soon as you say you've got, you know, or you're showing signs of mental health. You, you're going to, you are. It's not right. It's not right. And the first ones that take off are the ones who've caused it. They want nothing to do with it. They don't want to own it. 
and they're the ones who are probably going to still stay around because you're within close proximity of them. It's either your partner, your brother, your sister, your mother, your father. Who? Are you? That's cocky. I know. But um, you know, you just so just you just got to calm down on your own, and you have to because a lot of times we're all on our own whether you're a sufferer or just a normal person, whenever you're going through things, you, that we're really, we are on our own a lot. And um, you've just got to remember when you're alone what you did and that to calm yourself or ease yourself, ease your mind and that relax yourself and, and, and think things over and articulate it in your head on how you're going to speak it or act it out. You know, I, I did... As I said, I did a lot of security security work in different different fields, but you know the majority of my work was in pubs, and I worked one out. You know, and I'm working in the, I'm walking into these pubs, one out first time being there. You know, I've never worked at this hotel in my life, and I'm walking in there. You don't know what you're walking into. You've got no idea what you're walking into. It, it, but I will say this: it's an old saying, but it's true. You know, different place, same stories. And it, it is. It's a different place, but it's the same stories. But the stories could be stronger. They could be weaker. There could be a lot more stories. You know, so you, you don't know how many or what you're walking into, the vibe, how it, it is. And it, it, it can be quite nerve-wracking. But, you know, at the end of the day, if someone's got to do it and you put your hand up to do it. I did it. And I never walked away from any pub. You know, unfortunately, with the pub game is... You serve a purpose, like you might be the crowd controller or the, the, the person who's gone in there and cleaned it up and brought every, everything back to a nice, you know, vibe and stuff. And, you know, you're sitting there cruising and you're liking it and you're kicking it and everyone's liking it and you're doing your job and stuff. And it's really good. Um, and then the manager there will go, all oh, right, we don't need this bloke because people who do that sort of get the higher pay. And they want a lesser, they want to pay a less, it's typical, they everyone wants a bean counter, so they put in a lesser guard and you'll be moved. You know, you'll go to another another challenging hotel, you know. And mine was, you know, I chose to work on my own. So I worked in public bars on my own. Doesn't mean I'm a tough bloke, doesn't mean I'm a good fighter or something like that, it's just I worked better on my own. I worked in a lot of group situations as well. But I did notice because I could work on my own, even in the group situations, when you had those tense standoffs in the nightclubs or at certain major events and stuff like that, the ringleaders of those, you know, ones causing the tense standoff, could they could definitely tell the one who, that could work on their own and that was the one to, you know, watch out for or listen to and stuff like that. You know, so you do learn your, your your own what you can and can't do and how to approach things. And, and also you learn the understanding and if you don't know, because, you know, working in pubs on your own, there's a lot, you're going to hit a lot of areas where this is a new situation, you know, but unfortunately, or not unfortunately, but you, you're there on your own. You've got to sort this out. There's no one there. You've got no backup. Um, you know, and if you, like, like me, I never called the police, you know, so I, I valued, I really put myself in high praise that my patrons, my, everyone in the area of the hotel that I worked knew that they had someone there that was willing to sort out a problem without the use of calling the police and that, and, you know, I was, I was going to, definitely take the brunt and take the responsibility to sort it out and that's what I do now I, well I try this is as I said this is the biggest fight I've never thought had these fights before I'd, you know I'd rather go and fight 10 men you know than, than this and I'm sure that's the same feeling with everybody else you know because this fight you're beating yourself up and you, you, you're going to throw punches at yourself that aren't going to land correctly, and you're going to hit. You're going to hurt the. You know, you're going to hit something that's not right. 
you, you've missed your mark because you, you, you've yeah. it's a very unmapped fight very confusing I find that there's more more pattern in a brawl situation than this so to this one person and I've asked them if they'd like to catch up for a coffee and that just just calm down a bit I know it's easy to say but I think coming from me because I I'm, I you know I go through I'm I'm suffering and like a lot of other people are I'm, I'm no different to anybody else and that I can I think I can give the advice where you all will understand and listen when I say just just take a breath you know just go outside go and have a bath have a cup of tea have a cigarette you know um, walk the dog you know just just do something that just calms you down okay and think about it and even write it down you know get a pen and paper and write down a couple of things you know that doesn't hurt all right it, whatever works you know whatever works and that you've got to do it because every 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 life every person out there suffering and and, and stuff and you know oh, geez, i know it's easy to say i know it's you've heard it all before and that but your life's worth living just remember you know that you can you can you can as much as you're suffering that you can you can all you can all go out and make someone smile just by saying hello you know just to just get your mind off whatever you're going through just go outside go for a walk and just what smile sometimes i'm a dickhead and i go outside and i just stand at the end of the corner and i just wave at cars going by <laughs> you know yeah anyway all right just you know cross your legs Wow, so just breathe. All right. Then after that, go and get an international curry pie. That's okay. Just breathe. All right. Take care. See ya.